What is up, everyone? My name is Phil. The channel is Phil's Polls. And we are back with another card opening video. Today we have the brand new, well, I say brand new. This has been released, I guess, for a while. The online exclusive Topps Chrome Ben Baller edition. You guys may have kind of seen these uh, cir circulating around a bit. They're the Topps Chrome. They've got the Ben Baller kind of signature chain uh, deal going on under the logo. And the regular side of the Topps Chrome is like kind of all these like diamonds and stuff. It's actually a pretty decent design to be honest, but uh, there's some issues with this. And I will get to that in a second, but before I do that, uh, leave a like and subscribe on the video. Leave a like, subscribe on the video. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would very much appreciate that. So prior to this last box, um, I have opened nine of these and not received one parallel insert auto, die cut, nothing, all base cards. Not mad, I'm just disappointed. And the odds on the box say that I think the most common insert or parallel is green and that's one in 11. I've opened nine boxes of this and have not received one. Now I've seen people open boxes and get like every pack has a parallel or an insert, like crazy, crazy stuff. So I think there was some collation issues and I hope this is kind of an anomaly, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that like half of these boxes are loaded and half of them have nothing, which once these start shipping, and if that is the case, oof, I do not wanna be answering the phone for uh, Topps' quality control customer service line. That is gonna be an absolute nightmare for them. Um, but I did wanna do a video on this. I have a feeling there's not gonna be anything in it like with the previous nine boxes I opened, but I did want to uh, show off these cards. They look cool and uh, hopefully it'll hit some nice base. So. Um, let's get right into it. These, I believe, were 250 on the website. Um, if you could get one, they did like a, uh, like a raffle to buy one. I had to get these uh, on the secondary market, as I do with almost everything. <laughs> so, we'll get these packs out of here. I don't think it says on the box. How many packs you're supposed to get? One eternity later. 24. So regular like hobby setup for Topps Chrome. Um, yeah, and, and I think it's one in 11. Yeah, green one in 11, blue one in 14. So I should be getting like two parallels a box, and like I said, nine boxes in. Haven't got one. I hope that that's for some reason like <laughs> my last box has one. But uh, I'm certainly not holding my breath. As you can see, the design of these, pretty cool. Um, I like that they're like that really high quality, um, thicker stock, which is usually reserved for uh, parallels and hits, which actually might be part of the issue is that they, um, the machines were getting confused because all the base cards in the parallel are the same thickness. I think that's the reason they do that. What's the difference? Um, but yeah, cards look nice. Hopefully you can hit some nice base names because uh, these cards on the secondary market are going for a good amount. Especially if you hit like a Robert, uh, Boba Shed, guys like that. Two packs in, nothing crazy. Uh, Brian Reynolds, Mookie Betts, having a fantastic year. <clears throat> I think the issue that Topps runs into sometimes with these online releases is that uh, it's not their normal kind of process, I guess, as it is with hobby stuff. So mistakes like this can kind of get away from them a little bit. Um, there's a Grisham. Cause yeah, I've seen so many people on Twitter like getting crazy amounts of hits. And uh, yeah, that has to be made up somewhere. And so unfortunately, I think a lot of people are gonna get uh, dud boxes. Yeah, I had a lot of idea, so. Which is unfortunate cause these cards are really cool, but you know, what are you gonna do? Like the, the boxes are gonna be sold in the secondary market. You don't know if they're hot boxes or dud boxes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm curious to see how you guys do. If uh, you get any of this, let me know down in the comments if you uh, did really well or if you're kind of got skunked like I did. So far, I've picked out the Grisham. He's having a really nice year, but overall, nothing nothing crazy. There we go, Kyle Lewis. There's a nice rookie. 
Zach Gallon, I like him a lot. Whoa. Almost lost Logan Webb there. Dubon, Noose, Pujols, and Lariano. Really cool photo of him. Nice little corner ding on that Austin Nola. Uh, McKay, Jordan Alvarez. There's a good rookie. And uh, Nola, now a Padre, playing really well. Fortunately, has a back corner issue. Meadows, Bryce Harper. So yeah, not really a surprise halfway through our box that we don't have a parallel. But at least I knew that going into this, which is why I like to open some product off camera just to get a feel for it. And unfortunately in this case, I got a feel that uh, there was not gonna be anything in here. So at least I kind of wasn't shocked when I made this video, but I did want to show off these cards because they are, uh, I didn't, I thought it was kind of a tacky design, but um, now that I've seen them in person, I actually, I do kind of like them. It's, it's a lot more subtle than uh, I thought it was going to be. Um, Jesus Lizard, Yamamoto, Sean Murphy. The only, uh, the only thing I did get out of one pack was um, eight cards. So I got like double the amount of cards you're supposed to get, but they were all base, so. Key boom. There's a Tatis. Cool card. Uh, Glaber, Boba Shett. So we're hitting some nice rookies. Um, I think so far we've got the Kyle Lewis, the Jordan, and the Bow. <clears throat> the only one we're missing is the uh, the big one, the uh, Luis Robert, which hopefully we get. Not too many packs to go. I'm kind of curious to see what the autographs look like in this set and who they're of. I don't know if it's that, because Topps Chrome has a ton of the rookies. Yeah, I mean, the checklist is huge on the autos for the rookie, so I'm curious if it's those same guys or, or not. Kevin Biggio, Dansby, Dustin May, and two packs left. Hopefully we can hit a Robert, Arenado, Gene, Brandon Lau. And last pack. This guy's got like such a deceiving auto and he kind of looks like Mike Trout too and like he signed sort of the same MT. He's been uh, teasing a lot of people with uh, products this year. Uh, so yeah, that's our, that's our box of Ben Baller Chrome. Like I said, no hits. A no hitter! I am dead inside. Tops kind of screwed the pooch on that one. Um, but uh, we'll go over our base cards. Dustin May, Bo Bichette, Fernando Tatis, Jesus Lizard, Jordan Alvarez, Zach Gallen, Kyle Lewis, and Trent Grisham. So we did hit uh, a lot of nice base cards. Um, like I said, let me know down in the comments if you guys have had issues with this. I hope it's like a really small problem and it's not, like I said, ooh, that's a bad look and gonna be tough for a lot of people that uh, spend a lot of money on this product and you really don't know what you're gonna get. So hopefully that's not the case overall, but um, yeah, guys, let me know down in the uh, comments how you did. Um, leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And um, I've also got links for uh, merch now down in the uh, description below. So go, and go ahead and check that out if you haven't. Um, we got some shirts and mugs and other cool stuff with the Phil's Pulls logo. So if that is of interest to you, by all means, check it out. I also have memberships, which uh, is pretty cool. You get some badges and some uh, members only videos. But uh, yeah, guys, hope you did enjoy and I will catch you on the next one. See ya.